Hello, today we're going to have a look at the Autodesk Construction Cloud and build uploading sheets. So in the Construction Cloud, firstly we make sure we're in the correct project. And if it's not already selected, choose Build. Now inside Build, we'll always see the document management side of the files. But in this case we want to upload sheets that can be used on site. So we go to the Sheets, and there's two options here. We can add sheets from this button or from down here. Both do exactly the same thing and allow us to drag the PDFs in, or we can choose the From Your Computer to choose the files. In this case, I'm actually going to choose these PDFs that I've already created, and I'm just going to drag and drop them into the Autodesk Construction Cloud area. These are uploaded really quick and then, then I choose the ne uh, next option which is then to go and put version sets. Now with version sets we can actually filter these files f via version sets. So in this case I'm going to put mechanical first draft and we're going to use the issuance day of today now if I already had version sets created, I can choose from an existing version set to append these drawing sheets to that version set. Next thing is to extract the drawing sheet numbers. This will take a little while, but it will find the drawing numbers, hopefully in most cases. If for some reason it finds the wrong number or a wrong area on the drawing sheets, what we can do is we can actually select the drawing sheet that has the, uh, the problem. And we can actually get it to select a different area. So we can select one or multiple and then we can choose the drawing sheet number area. We can also change the drawing sheets in respect to using the file name or number the sheets um, sequentially. We can also use rules, so in this case we can actually make sure there's either a number or word before or after the drawing sheet number. Next we go to the titles and tags. Now it already puts in a discipline and it gets that from the drawing sheet number. So in this case M will allow that to assign it to mechanical. So here we can add tags that are already selected. We're going to add the tags. We haven't added any drawing sheets added yet, so no tags are available. And we can also input, input the title, or we can do exactly the same as we did with the drawing numbers. In this case, we're going to choose an area where we want it to select the drawing title from. So again, all we do is select the area. Now if you've got one line of text, make sure you choose the larger area for, just in case there are two or even three lines of text that you want added for the title. So once we pick save, it will then start extracting that information from the drawing sheets. Now this is great if the title is in the same place on each drawing sheet, but we can see here for M104, it's not in the same place. So we just need to change that select that single sheet and do exactly the same, we just choose the area. Once we pick save we'll go back to the previous, previous view and we'll see that the extracted sheet title is what we wanted. Now for the tags now, as I said before, there are no tags, so we just start typing the tags in here. So in this case, I should use mechanical. And I'm going to put another tag in as the, the floor name number as well. So in this case, fifth floor. Now for the next one, we we'll see we've already got mechanical selected or um, in there, so we can actually select it. But again, we've got to add each floor. But any subsequent drawing sheets that we actually put up in here, we can just select the floor number from the, uh, from the list as we go along. And you'll see each one gets added to that list. So 
I'm going to choose mechanical for this last one. And the fourth law. Then once we've finished with the mechanical, we can pick the published sheets. And this really takes almost no time at all because the sheets are already uploaded. And straight away we'll actually come back with how many drawing sheets. Now if we're uploading more than five, maybe multiples, we might have to wait for this to, to, to upload. But we'll get an email telling us that those drawing sheets have been uploaded. So here we can see the sheets, the version numbers, whether they've got any markups, whether they're private or, or um, published who updated the uploaded file, then the version set that we actually had, we put in, and then there's a discipline that's automatically gained. And we can actually filter by all of these. So if we wanted to filter by discipline, we could do, or we could use the tags and we could dis um, filter by the tags. In this case, let's say we wanted to see all of the drawing sheets that are on the third floor. And then we filtered that one sheet. And again, quickly clear that gives us all the drawing sheets back again. So that's the drawing sheets. Let's go into each of these and you get exactly the same viewer, same markup capabilities. And we've also got the comparison option just in case we're on version two or, or more, we can start to uh, check the comparison between those. So that's the Autodesk Construction Cloud build uploading sheets. Thank you.